Hi, in this tutorial we'll see how to program a DC motor in Arduino Mega using MATLAB Simulink. So here's a circuit diagram for this tutorial. Here I used a L293D motor driver and a toy DC motor. And this is a circuit setup here. Uh, we have used only uh, one side of the L293D. Uh, if you see in the L293D, we can control two uh, DC motors, but uh, if for this tutorial, I'm going to use only one DC motor, and also I'm going to check, and I'm also going to uh, check the logic behind the L293D motor driver that is uh, also known as a H bridge. So here I have already enabled our enable pin to the high mode, and the pin one and pin two are connected to the so here you can see the pin 1 and pin 2 of the L293D is connected to the 6th and 7th pin of the Arduino Mega and we will see how the motor direction turns by applying a low and high voltage to the pin 1 and pin 2. So go to MATLAB and open Simulink library. Go to the new model. So I'm going to use a Simlink support package for Arduino hardware. Go to common, and we are going to have the digital output here. So we have connected our digital output to the pin six and seven. So I'm going to change this as six, and this one as seven. So go on and type uh, in the Simlink library browser as switch and search for that. So go on and find a manual switch here. So here we have a manual switch and we also need to give input to the switch. So I'm going to use a constant here. Change this one to 5 and this one to 0. and connect this to here select this group right click and copy this paste here so we have connected our logic like this and uh, we also need uh, probes for this so scope go and pick a scope and Give number of input as port as 2. So we have connected like this. And so here I have used a L293D module. There is a motor driver here. And I have connected uh, the output of the L293 d motor driver to the DC motor and input to the 6th and 7th pin of Arduino Mega. So this is uh, the time motor here I've fixed. So I fixed the time motor firmly by using a double side cello tape to a plastic box here. Go to Renon hardware prepare to run and select Arduino Mega let's run this model on our hardware so for that you have to select to external and change this to infinite I'm going to run this in external mode So here it has started. The reason the motor is not rotating is because we are supplying zero to both the pins. So here if you see the logic, if both the pins are low, low, the motor won't run. That's the reason the motor here is not rotating. If I turn one motor uh, to a logic one that is high, 
so here you can see that the motor has started rotating I'm going to turn it off so this motor I'm going to turn on so here you can see that this rotating if I uh, turn both the logic to high that is 5 5 volt 5 volt so here it is stopped it is not rotating now if one of the pin is high and one of the pin is low then only the motor can rotate uh, to the right or the left direction if it is goes to low so rotating on the clockwise so if this goes high it is rotating anti-clockwise you can also check in the scope So how it is uh, doing so one of the pins is in logic 5 volt and another pin is in logic 0 so if both the pins are in the same logic so here it comes down and the motor stops rotating So that's it for this tutorial, thank you.